So I just wanted to make four very quick points. First, the pace of change is accelerating. It is cliche but true. Today will be the slowest day of your life. As we continue to have rapid technological advancements, our world is only getting faster. Here's one statistic that's come out of our research. The lifespan of a company on the S&P 500 index two generations ago was about 50 years, 5-0. Today, it's about 16 years and the number is decreasing. 50%, 5-0% of the companies on the S&P 500 index will not be on that index in 10 years. Second observation, this means that innovation, which once was a nicety, is increasingly a necessity. This means that design that once was a fringe discipline is essential inside every organization. Every organization has to innovate. It has to do something different that creates value. And you only can create value if you embrace great design. Because if people can't use, if they can't understand, if they can't adopt the products and services you're innovating, you're going to be in trouble. Third observation, even more critically, the principles and approaches that good designers follow are critical for tomorrow's leaders. What do great designers do? They have empathetic understanding of markets. They're able to sense opportunities before data are clear. They use abductive thinking to come up with possibilities that no one had imagined. They rapidly prototype, they test, learn, and experiment to address the uncertainty that always comes along with change. These are skills and mindsets that all leaders of tomorrow will need. Because if we make decisions based only on data, only on logic, only on numbers, that takes us backwards, not forwards. Fourth and final observation. My view, the biggest opportunity and the biggest challenge that we face as a community is changing the mindset inside organizations. We know that success is never a straight line. There will be the occasional failure along the way. Our organizations are not yet fully tolerant of this. Psychological safety is something that we need to see inside more organizations in Singapore to make that superpower really have its impact.